Here's where we're at with the Snow White star, Rachel Ziegler. Now she's in good company. I don't know if this is a post kind of making light of the situation, but now, regardless, Rachel is now lumped in with some of the box office queens here. Brie Larson. Miss A.H. herself, and the Little Mermaid woman. I don't remember her name off the top of my head. As far as I know, she's only been in one movie. Uh, I don't know. Does she deserve to be up here just yet? Now, I know she said some dumb things during the run of the Little Mermaid, but I don't think she's anywhere near the level that Rachel... Bree and Amber are. They, they're all next level. Amber's the queen of them all, but uh, Bree also, uh, we'll see how it goes with the marketing for Captain Marvel, but she's actually been pretty quiet lately, though I don't think it's enough for her to be totally redeemed yet. So these three for sure, definitely up there now as the most disliked women in Hollywood. I think the Little Mermaid woman can actually repair her image if she just stops screaming at people about her stupid movie. And now that it's over, she probably will. So uh, she can probably actually walk away and not have everyone dislike her. But uh, Rachel, for sure, she's going to quadruple down because she's such a narcissist. She can't understand why everybody doesn't love her. Same with LAH up there. Uh, but not good company to be pushed into now. Not very good company. Here's some more stuff. Uh, talked about this in yesterday's video where people were rightly calling her out for the way that she handled the Gina Carano situation. And, of course, Gina had a little fun with that where she retweeted her and put boop. Uh, but this is from 21021. I forgot that I blocked Gina Carano when she was making fun of pronouns. Good riddance. And then here's some people replace her as the female lead. And then Rachel says, I would love to. And this is, of course, in response to this. I love you very much forever and ever. Remember to be kind. Treat each other with patience and empathy. Remember that you are loved unconditionally, no matter your mistakes, no matter your misunderstandings. You deserve it. You deserve love. You deserve to live without fear X. Oh, okay. Nice one, Mr. Rogers. But see, up here, uh, she should take her own advice, as Steph puts out here. She's not a good person. She's a nasty, mean girl bully. And it comes out all the time now. You see it everywhere. These whole little I love everybody messages are bullshit. She's a bully. And everybody sees it. This isn't just one side of the aisle calling her out. Both sides are. A bunch of former Disney people are talking about her. This just dropped yesterday. Former Disney designer asserts Walt Disney World. Walt Disney would very much disagree with Rachel Zegler's vision for Snow White. I bet he would. He's probably rolling in his grave over the bullshit that these people are putting his company through. Doesn't just stop there, ladies and gentlemen. There's more. My father and Walt would be turning in their graves. Son of original Snow White director. Blast pathetic new version starring Rachel Ziegler. And accuses radical Disney of having no respect for classics. So this is the son of the original director of the movie that is... I mean, how old is this movie? It came out in what? Yeah, 1937, and it's still loved. That's how timeless that movie is. These classic Disney movies stand the test of time. And Disney wants to rush in and change them all and make their new garbage live-action versions that update them for modern audiences, uh, the definitive versions, which will never happen. 
So the the line here that they have no respect for their classics, I absolutely agree with. Uh, if anything, if you're going to do everything, you should just restore that footage into beautiful 4K and put some, you know, some HDR on there and re-release it that way. But they don't want to do that. They want to modernize it. Uh, but he had a nice little rant here. Uh, apparently talking to the Telegraph. He said, the information known so far about the new movie set to be released in 2024 was proving to be a whole different concept. I know my dad and Walt would also very much disagree with it. He told the publication, adding that the first movie was produced in good taste. <laughs> that's that's good comment there. Yeah, it was made in good taste. Uh, Mr. Han added that it was pathetic that people needed to feel animosity towards the picture, which is soon approaching nine decades old. That is, that is a really good point. This movie is, it's, it'll be a hundred years old soon and people still want to go back and watch it. People still praise it. People will still sit down and introduce that movie to their children today. In 2023, you know what they won't do in five years? Watch this bullshit. Nobody's going to watch this bullshit. Uh, he goes on and on, but I think the the point is, is well made there in the first little bit of that interview because he's absolutely right. No respect for these old classics. All these people want to run in and change them and modernize them, and it ruins them. Nothing modern from today is going to stand well, some things will, but most of it's not going to stand the test of time. Uh, most of our modern pop culture entertainment is complete shit. I would say at least 80 to 85%, and I feel like I'm being generous here. Uh, but most most of the entertainment, 85% of modern pop culture entertainment is shit. Uh, our art is shit. One of the biggest things going around on Twitter right now, at least... What I saw yesterday really sums up art for the modern age. This video right here, this is this is praised as as amazing stuff. This video of this dude lining up sand buckets and letting them drop. Look at all these people here to watch this. And this could be this could be a parody. It could be. It's hard to tell anymore because I'm not even joking. Like, go to a museum and go look at modern art. Go look at it and tell me how shitty it is when you when you leave that place. It literally, like one of one time I saw it was like rope, rope in a bird cage. This uh, this wouldn't surprise me if this is real. In fact, I think it is real. I mean, people put they duct tape bananas onto a wall and consider that art. So these people, these people will clap when this happens. But this is it. This is the art right here, waiting for these to fall. And then, of course, they eventually do, and they all line up. Wow, amazing high-level art. Look at that dude's face right there in the corner. Like, he was amazed by that. And then you wonder why all of our entertainment is garbage. I look no further than the art scene. This is why these people are so afraid of AI. They're, they're afraid AI is going to take everything over because look what they create. You tell me AI can't make better art than this? I've already seen it make better art than this. I've seen some pictures that people posted from AI, and some of it is some beautiful-looking stuff. So, yeah, no wonder they're so afraid of it. But that's for another video. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Romo Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.